Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Blair. Welcome to my beauty space. So today I have a very exciting video for you guys. We are going to test out the brand new Tom Ford gift set on camera together. So I bought this on Nordstrom.com. As soon as I saw this on the app, I was like, I had to have it. Thus, I want to do a first impression, get ready with me, mainly using the products here to test it out and see if you guys should get it. So if you want to know how do I think about this gift set as well as how to achieve the look right here. Just please keep watching. Alright, so here is the box. It is so beautiful. It is the Tom Ford design, very classic. It just looks super luxurious. And once you open it up, here are the items. So in this gift set, you get one eyeshadow quad, which is a full size, and then you get two mini Tom Ford lipsticks. So for me, I really want to test out this eyeshadow palette because it is a bronze palette. I just really love Tom Ford's classic colors. I think they're really good at classic colors. When I saw the color story of the eyeshadow palette, I'm like, I am down. Now I have already finished my whole base makeup. I have my brows done, I have my foundation done, the powders are all set. So let's just dive into the eyeshadow palette. All right, so here is the eyeshadow palette looks like. It is a standard packaging. Once you open it up, here are the shades. It is so beautiful, and you have these small tools right here. I'm probably going to toss it, even though it's Tom Ford, but I just don't really use it. So I really want all the brands can just focus on the eyeshadow itself. Maybe it can give us two more eyeshadows, then we can do a six pan. That will be really awesome, instead of giving us this one. That's my thought about the whole design, because I do feel like we pay like big price for the eyeshadow palette and I don't really want something that I don't need so yeah that's that here are the inside looks like so those are the four shades we have two shimmer shades and two matte shades but even the matte has shimmer to it so this is the light shade right here so this is a shade and when you swatch it, it's not that obvious. But like I always said, we should only judge the eyeshadow when we apply it on our eyes because sometimes they might surprise us. So that's the first shade right here. And now we have this shimmery shade. So this shade is really beautiful. And this has like a champagne sheen to it. So let's swatch right here. As you can see, right? I really love this shade right here. I feel like the whole concept of Tom Ford eyeshadows are very like low-key subtle but very texturized shadows. So it might not be super beamy highlight, but I do love like the subtle glowness to it. Look at this. It's very high-end, it's very suitable for more serious occasions. So I really, really love it. And the next shade is this shade right here. Wow, that shade is really pigmented. This probably I'm going to use as my major transition shade just because I think that's the only color right here is the right color for transition shades. So I'm really happy that this eyeshadow palette has a transition shade. And lastly, we have this darker shade right here. That is beautiful as well. So that's the color right here. I wouldn't say that the swatches are amazing. I definitely say better swatches on other eyeshadows in terms of like the whole consistency and the pigmentation, but I don't think this is like bad either. I think it's kind of like mediocre to good. So we shall see how it applies on the eyes. And also this palette is called Aries Bronze. So it's right there. And I don't know if it's like their regular line or it's only for the holidays. So if you know, definitely let me know. I will appreciate that. And all right, so let's dive into the shades, shall we? The first I am going to use is this shade right here, the base shade. I'm going to apply it all over my eyelid. And this eyeshadow palette does come with a mirror, so that is really, really nice. So I'm going to just pick the base shade using my Luxie brush. I really love the Luxie brush. I think they're so beautiful and they're so high quality, so I love it. These are the two difference. So this is a color right here. Can you guys see the difference? Let's do this eye. Oh, 
Alright, so this is the first base down. What do you guys think? Do you guys love it? I think it is pretty good. It's definitely on the subtle side, but I can definitely see how it sets my whole eyelid. So I love it. Now moving on, I want to do this transition shade right here using the same brush. This I'm definitely going to just smoking out my lash line as well as the crease right here. I want to make a crease because I don't have a crease. So that's the color right here. How do you guys like it? Let's do the same set on this eye. I love it. It's definitely on the subtle side and I don't see a lot of fallout, so that's good. But yeah, it's definitely very subtle. I love it because I don't like too dramatic of eyeshadow either. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it's definitely more like a subtle brown. I personally love it just because I love a less dramatic eyeshadows anyway. But if you like super dramatic eye looks, I felt like you might have better options than this one. But if you just like this kind of, you know, subtle like look, I think this is a good palette. Alright, moving on, I'm going to smoke out even more using the darker shade. I'm still using the same brush just because I'm going from lighter to darker, so it doesn't really matter. And also sometimes it's easier to transition if you use the same brush because there's still some residues from the previous color, if that makes sense. So I'm going to just carefully smoke out the lash line like this. Wow, I love this color. This color is really beautiful. Right? This is so pretty. I love this color. Goes the same here. I love the whole smoking out. I think that is so beautiful. And if you want to do maybe a little bit more dramatic, you can definitely intensify a little bit more. And also you can smoke out your lower lash line using the darkest shade. But for me, I think this is good enough. And there are a little bit of fallout right here. But that is fine because it's not that serious. And also, I don't really mind if they fall out a little bit along the lower lash line just because it's kind of like a dramatic eye look that kind of opens up your eye even more. And lastly, for the shimmer color right here, this champagne shade. So first, I'm going to just highlight underneath my brow like this. That is pretty. I love the color. It might be a little bit darker for the brow highlight though. What do you guys think? Because it's more like a champagne color than like a white pearl color. But it's not bad either, so that's pretty good. And then I'm going to use this one to put on the center of my eyelid right here. Because I love a highlighted eye look. Put it like right here, like there. And lastly, I'm going to use my finger, get this shimmer shade, and put a little bit more here. I think sometimes shimmers are best applied by your fingers because they're just really pigmented and the warmth of your finger can definitely help the pigmentation even more. So it is like this. All right, so this is a finished look. I really love it. I think this is very natural, very subtle, but very sophisticated and high end. Also, it is very easy to recreate. It doesn't take me that long to finish this look. So you can definitely do it on your everyday makeup routine. So I really really love that. I love like the easiness of this whole look. And yeah, I just really love this look. Alright, so I'm going to apply lashes and liners and then I'll be right back. 
All right, so lashes are on and liners are on. I just felt like this look definitely come together. I really love this look. Even the highlight underneath my brow, I think it's very natural. Now I blend out a little bit using my finger. So yeah, the whole look is just really beautiful. I absolutely love it. So I highly recommend this eyeshadow palette. This is Aries Browns. I just think it is so beautiful and it is so versatile. So easy to create the whole look using the four shades here. So yeah, absolutely love it. All right, moving on. Before we do the two lipstick swatches, I just want to quickly contour on camera because I recently came across this Lorac Pro contour palette. And this is what it looks like inside. You have a mirror and then those are the shades right here. It is so beautiful. Since I found it, I used it the other day and I was so impressed with the look. So I was like, how can I not use it every single day and how can I never mention it on camera? That's why I want to do a contour with you guys together using this Lorac palette. For the brush today, I'm using this e.l.f. brush from the e.l.f. brush set. First, I'm going to use the lightest color right here. This is called light contour and I'm going to mix with medium contour. So here, this is what it looks like. And I dust out the excess powder and I'm going to just put it like this. Just look at the color. Look how natural that color is. I even think the dark contour is not that crazy. So if you have similar skin tone as mine or even lighter, I feel like this will be a good palette for you. And I do think they have a darker shade as well. I am going to intensify the contour a little bit and this time I'm only digging into the light contour so that it's not too much. I'm going to just use it like this back and forth. Look how nice that is, right? I love the color, it is so beautiful. And the same goes the other side. First mixing the two and place it right here. Look at the color. Right? The color is beautiful. And then I'm going to use a lighter shade. Let's put it right here. So now the powders are placed in place. I'm going to use a bigger powder brush just to blend it out so that we don't have a sharp line. The same goes here. Look how beautiful that is. The colors are beautiful and they're just so easy to blend into the skin. Alright, so now once we blend it out, look how natural the color is. It literally just melts into my skin. Like literally, I don't feel like there's any harsh line. I don't think I'm being over contoured. I just think it is so beautiful. I absolutely love this powder. And then moving on, we also have the highlight. And today I'm going to use the shimmer highlight right here. So this is like an all white face highlight. This is a color right here. Look how pigmented that is. That's why I think it's better you use a fan brush so that it can diffuse a lot of the pigmentations. So I'm going to just apply it like this. Wow, look at that. How beautiful. It is so pretty. Like I felt like this just looks like you get your makeup done professionally because of the colors, because of the blending, and it is not hard to achieve this look at all. If you get this palette, I think it is very easy to recreate the look because I feel like they already make the color so perfect. All you need to do is blend it out. So yeah, just so look at it. Right? That is so beautiful. I love it. I just think this is so beautiful. So I highly recommend this contour palette. I think it is so amazing. And you probably could get this one on sale because it's kind of like an older product. I am so happy that I got this one in my kit and I will keep using it more. So yeah, that's the contour right here. All right, lastly, we have two mini lipsticks to test it out. And I am so excited about it. So the first color is called Spiced Honey. So this is the lip color Rouge Allerius. I don't know what does that mean, but here is the color right here. 
So this is definitely more of a nudie peach color. And here is a swatch. Look, this is really natural. But I feel like it might look better if you have cold undertone. If you have warm undertone, as for a warm undertone, this lipstick will be the best friend for you. So this is a shade right here. Look how beautiful. And this is called Casablanca. So let me swatch it. Wow, look at that shade. So I love the fact that they have two different colors in this combo so that both undertones are covered in this lip combo. So for me personally, I'm going to use Casablanca as my base and then I'm going to use the Spice Honey to do a little bit of the center highlight. Since the lipstick is pretty tiny, so I'm going to just directly apply it because I felt like I don't need to use a lip liner. Oh my goodness, the color is gorgeous. I think I want to buy a full size in Casablanca just because the payoff is amazing, the application is so smooth, everything's perfect. So, yeah, I for sure will buy a full size. So, I absolutely love this color. Uh, for the middle, I still want to use a little bit of spice honey just so that I can show you guys. So this is Spice Honey layered on top of Casablanca. It is so pretty. I think I love this color better. And I think this color matches the whole look even better because Casablanca is definitely more of a deeper rose color. And for this muted eye look, I feel like if you do a little bit neutral, And for this kind of like a muted eye look, and also with my pale pink jacket, I definitely think if you tone it down a little bit, it'll look even better. So yeah, I love it. I think this is so beautiful. All right, so this is a finished look. I absolutely love it, and I highly recommend this gift set as well. I would recommend to anyone who is interested in purchasing, I just think it's definitely worth the money. It's definitely really beautiful and very wearable. So I feel like you're definitely not buying something and just put it there. You can actually use this on the dailies. So I definitely recommend it. And yeah, that's it. That's today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.